Hey guys, Matt here with Crypto Blick. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. Today I'm gonna to show you how to update the BIOS firmware on your motherboard. In this case, it's for the one I have on my rig, which is the Asus Prime Z490-P. If that sounds good to you, let's hop in and let's get this video started. So the first thing you're gonna do here is come to the ASUS Download Center. So do a quick you know, Google search and, and just find ASUS Download Center. You're gonna come over here and put your model in. You can do it this way or you can just do it through the search feature on Google or DuckDuckGo or something like that. But let's do this, 90-P. There we go, there is my model. And then it shows you the different options you have here. Your CPU, memory support, driver utility, FAQ, manual and document in warranty. Go ahead and do driver and utility. It's going to pull up a new page here. You're gonna scroll on down here. Um, it's gonna please select the, the OS, obviously other. You don't have to do this here if you're for drivers and tools. What I really wanna do here though, is I wanna show you go to BIOS and firmware. And then you're going to see the latest BIOS version that's available here for you to download. What you're going to do is you're gonna make sure that uh, it is your particular model of your motherboard. So make sure you do that. Go ahead and click download. Go ahead and save to your downloads folder. All right, perfect. From here, go ahead and put that file here on your USB stick. Then go ahead and eject the USB. And then from here, we're going to then plug it into the rig that we have. We're then going to turn the rig on and then quickly go into the bio settings and I'll show you what to do from there. All right, guys. And then from here, you're gonna take your USB stick here and you're gonna plug it into your rig. Let's see if I can do this one handed here. So just plug it into any one of the uh, USB ports here. All right, so we're in just fine. All right, so then let's go back on over to our rig because it's plugged in, and then let's start up this system. All right, guys, and then go ahead and uh, boot up your rig. Once the uh, monitor shows the Asus logo here, go ahead and smash that delete button so that you can get into the BIOS. All right, there we are. So now we're inside our, our motherboard and we're gonna come on down here to advanced mode. Once you are in advanced, come on over to tool. Go ahead and click on Asus Easy Flash 3 Utility. This is, this is where um, your hard drive is for your rig, but then also this is uh, the USB drive that I put in, that USB stick um, to update uh, the BIOS. So I'm gonna come on over to the Prime right here, so the 1621, this is the most recent one here. We're gonna click on that. And then you're gonna see two different options here. You're gonna see one that's a uh, dot underscore prime and then just the prime, it's the same thing. Go ahead and click this one here, it's the larger file size. Go ahead and click that. So then of course the important notice is going to pop up and just go ahead and click yes. Do you want to read this file? Click yes again. Do you want to update the BIOS? Yes, I do want to update it to the most recent one here that I have in my USB stick. And then you're going to see, it's going to see processing, it's updating everything down here at the bottom. It will do it a lot faster for me because I've already updated to this firmware. See, it says successfully updated. Uh, it may take longer for you guys, so just keep that in mind. Things are gonna have to reset and it will uh, reload here in a second. Once you update the BIOS, it's going to turn on, shut off, turn on, shut off. It may do it two or three times. It's okay, don't freak out. Just keep in mind that this is part of the process to update the settings or the firmware within your BIOS on your motherboard. Um, so don't freak out about that. So now we can hit the delete key again to get into the BIOS. It'll say, please enter setup to recover BIOS setting. After setting, okay, press F1 to run setup. So go ahead and press F1. 
All right, so now we're back in the BIOS and you can see right up here at the top where it says information. It, you've got your name of your motherboard, BIOS version 1621. So now we know that it is updated appropriately um, and things will uh, be showing like it should. It'll tell you your, uh, your processor here, the speed, all the details that you need to know. But anyway, so now everything is updated. One other thing I wanted to let you know about here is, you know, I was wondering, okay, what's going on? What's this device 9B8? 9B8 uh, and uh, Asus here. Well, what that is through my re research, I found is that that's your motherboard. Okay, so don't freak out. It's not going to affect your earnings. It's not going to affect your rig. It's not going to cause issues. I actually saw it. It went away on Hive OS once I updated to the latest software version. So that may you know may uh, happen to you as well. Um, but just uh, you know, don't freak out. It's fine. Device 9B8 is okay. It's fine. Just leave it alone. It's your motherboard. And that is how you update the BIOS on your motherboard. As you can see, it's fairly quick and easy. I just want to do this video because there wasn't much content on the particular product that I had, that particular motherboard, the Z490P. So I wanted to make sure I show you guys how to update that. Uh, there were stability issues for me when I did not update. I just bought the motherboard, installed it in my rig. So always make sure that your rigs are up to date, not only with your GPUs and your Hive OS software, but also the motherboard uh, BIOS, okay? Make sure that is up to date. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you have any comments or suggestions, put them in the comments below. I love communicating with you guys and helping you out and you help me out as well. Um, so if anything, guys, uh, like this uh, video and subscribe to the channel because more content will be coming uh, soon here. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to reach out. And until next time, I'll see you when I see you.